Yes, he's about 100 yards out. Look at the size of the rack on that thing. I wanted to head back out to Layton Lakes today, and I wanted to do a little bit of whitetail hunting, maybe even some moose or potentially elk. Well, we just found this guy. That's a massive bull. Should be somewhere around like a 240, 250s bull. Now, we have the M1, which isn't the powerfulest, but it could definitely take down this bull. We hugged in front of the front shoulder, and we'll put a follow-up into him, and I think the first shot actually hit right behind the heart, which will still catch a single lung, and yes, it did. So he shouldn't go too far. And I think he just piled up. Let's go over and go take a look at that beautiful bull moose. So we just smoked that huge bull moose with the M1. I'm pretty sure we got one really good lung hit and then a follow-up into him. But then I just spotted this giant bull here. Now that's down potential. That is definitely down potential. 237 to 294. I think 280 is diamond. So he's going to be absolutely huge. He's only 100 yards out from us. So we're going to try and get a little bit closer. And see if we can't take kind of a quarter inch shot with the bow. Well, there he is there. He's about 88 yards from us right now. And he's quartering almost directly away from us. We could potentially take that shot and get tons of penetration. And we might. But I don't know for sure. I think we actually might. Since we have a perfect wind, we have tons of penetration with this bow and the 600 grain arrow. So we're going to see if we can't get zeroed in for about 90. Okay. Yeah, 80 will work. How in the heck do we just drop him? Never would I have guessed in a million years that that shot would drop that giant bull. I just never would have thought so. Well guys, here he is. We're going to pat down some of this grass here and take a really good look at this giant bull. Look at where we hit that thing. We hit him so far back. I'm honestly thinking that might have been a Texas heart shot. Like I said, I don't know like what else we could have hit him. All I know is this is a massive bull. He's diamond potential. I don't exactly know if he's going to be diamond, but he's pretty huge. So we'll take a screenshot of him. It's a little bit dark out right now. But now for the moment of truth. Let's find out where we hit this thing. <laughs> we did it. We just made a 90-yard Texas heart shot on that giant bull moose. He scored 246, so quite a bit shy of diamond, but an absolute monster bull moose. That's the first time I've ever made like a 90-yard Texas heart shot with the bull. Okay, let's take a look. There it is. There it is right there. That's the angle we had to work with. And we dropped it in there absolutely perfectly. You can see the arrow hit right there. We ended up getting stomach, left lung, and a perfect hard shot at 90 yards. I've never done that before with a bow. Never done that before. It just happened right there. And <laughs> what a giant bull indeed. Yeah, we'll definitely get him mounted. So now that we got this bull, I'm kind of curious as to how big the other bull's actually going to be. I feel like he's going to be somewhere around the same score estimate. We hit that one with the M1. Uh, I wasn't really planning on going after bull moose. I was trying to find whitetail and I found very minimal on my map lately. We did find a decent buck, but he was kind of like a 230s. I wanted to get something like 260 plus before I went after him. Ended up going right to where that bull was and here's some blood. Let's see. Yeah, he's going this way. Another track here. Got some more blood here. And here he is down right here. So you tell me, do you think this bull is going to be bigger than the other one we just got? I think he's wider and he does have brow tines, but I think the other bull had a higher estimate than this one. He did go down at a really cool position though. So we'll definitely take advantage of that and take a really cool picture of this giant bull as well. I think his left side is actually way bigger than his right side. So maybe that has something to do with what he's going to score. Anyways, we'll take a screenshot of him right there because that's uh, another massive bull. This is the first bull that we got. And let's pick him up. 
he is a little bit bigger 255 gold got a right lung at 207 with the m1 i figured that was a good shot tucked it right behind the front shoulder i was actually trying to catch the back of the heart it looks like we just missed it there but then we got a follow up into him as he turned and it didn't penetrate well that's interesting anyways nice shot and another monster bull moose down but this guy we took down with the m1 see yeah i think if he had both sides like this this honestly looks just like the og style it looks like one side is the og and this side is like the true rack moose so that's kind of a unique looking bull 255 still quite a bit off from being a diamond but another absolute giant bull moose we've been looking for a pretty good white toe for quite a while now and we finally found one He's not a giant, but you know what? That's the biggest whitetail that I've seen in about an hour of hunting here. Got a couple more bucks over here as well. That's not a bad one, but definitely the biggest one here is gonna be this one. About 250, so we're gonna take him with that one. And he's down. And just smoke that buck as well. Perfect. Two really nice whitetails down with the M1 here. So what I have been noticing, there are whitetail, but there's just very, very few whitetail. And the whitetail that you do see are in places that you normally wouldn't look. So here's the second buck. And that's a 182. It's actually a decent buck. Like I said, that is not a bad buck. I ended up getting a double lung liver at 265 on the walk on him. So very nice shot there with the M1. But the biggest one that we've seen so far is going to be this buck here. And I'm hoping he's going to make gold. Probably like 230s. Actually, I'll be happy if he hits 230. Ooh. 220 is gold. So 205 is gold. I thought 220 was gold. But either way, that's the biggest buck that we've seen all day long he's got such a messed up looking cool rack on him and we made a 247 yard double lung shoulder blade shot on him with the m1 well what did i just find over here that is a massive herd of whitetail that i've never seen before i've never even looked over in this area before for whitetail because i didn't know that they were now that's the buck that was in the herd of the bucks that we just got so that makes sense to me but these deer here, like, where are they going? That one buck was a monster. Okay, there's a bear there. So it looks like this herd of whitetail decided to feed right here. Now, I don't see that giant buck anywhere. We saw him over there. See, there's another buck over there. I'm pretty sure our giant whitetail that we're looking for is with this buck. So if we can figure out where he's going to go, we should be able to find where our giant buck is i think we might have just found where he's at guys that's not him but i if you look really close right there you can see another rack from another buck and that means that there's a couple more bucks over there that we can't oh my god we found him you saw how excited I got over that 221 whitetail. This thing has a minimum of 223. 223 to 271. That is by far the biggest whitetail buck we've seen in so long. It's not even funny. So there he is bedded down there, 230 yards away. We got this smaller buck here in the front. And this other sort of decent buck coming in the back here but you can see he's behind that hill so we absolutely do not have a shot what i do think though is if we slide over enough we should be able to find a nice opening to take the shot i do believe our big buck yes he just stood up that's our big buck there kind of facing us though i don't like that i really don't like that but we don't have a good wind see that buck's bedded down now I feel like he should either turn or we could take that shot. We're going to take that shot and we just smoked that monster whitetail, guys. It was a pretty far shot, actually. You know, we might take down that buck.
I mean, it looked good. I don't know why it didn't drop, but should have definitely got a single on. Yeah, left along 197. That's actually not a bad white tail. Got him at 187. And this is our biggest buck that we've seen in so long. So long. Awesome looking rack on him. Wow. That is something. That really is something. Yeah, I think that's about as good as we can really get. So that'll look good there. And let's pick him up and see how big he's going to be. A 260. We made... Wow. I didn't know we made a perfect heart shot. But 260 yard heart and left lung shot on that monster white tail buck. Such a cool rack on him. And yeah, that is our biggest buck that we've seen by far. Looks like we centered the heart pretty nicely there and caught the left lung at 260. And I think we're going to mount it because I haven't seen anything bigger in, in a while. So a little while later, I thought we'd join a multiplayer map and that is an absolute giant bull moose. Now that is a diamond potential. That's a guaranteed diamond potential. It's about 240 yards away and I think it would be really cool if we could try and take this thing down with the recurve. It's been about like two years since I actually tried to do this. We used uh, the recurve back when it was junk, okay? And I did try and take down an OG Dime Potential Bull Moose and I had him 20 yards away and I went for a perfect heart shot and it was going directly for the heart with I think the 450 grain arrows at that time and it stopped like a half inch before it hit the heart. He was facing directly at me and I hit it right in the middle of the chest and it didn't get the penetration. So this time, is we're going to have a chance to redeem ourselves and be able to go after this giant bull moose with the recurve. But there he is right there, bedded at about 150 out. You can see we have a perfect win there. 271 to 328 in the estimate. I think we need to get like 290 plus for him to be diamond, so he's definitely going to be close. All right, guys, I think we're about 40 yards out from this giant bull. We're going to get maybe five yards closer. We'll crouch up, draw back, and let one fly. I don't think we're going to have a ton of time to be able to look at him because he's such a big bull. And they notice things. They spook very, very easily. Oh my god. He's 40 yards away. Perfectly broadside too. What a perfect angle. We could definitely take that. Wow. It's not every day you get this close to a giant bull. And you're actually able to stay prone. And be able to observe just this massive creature. So I'm really appreciative of this moment here. But I still think we could get a little bit closer. All right, yeah, this is definitely going to work. He's 30 yards out. All right, well, we're going to crouch up and make this happen, guys. Here we go. 32 yards away. Let's make this happen. All right, let's draw back. Beautiful shot. Tucked it right above the heart. He was quartering away. It should have been absolutely perfect. Let's watch. Come on, come on. He ran right into the thick brush and we cannot spot him. But the shot definitely looked good to me. All right, so we smoked him right here and it doesn't look like there's any sign of any blood anywhere. We're on multiplayer, so that does tend to happen. But I know it was a really good hit and I watched him run this way. Actually, if you look to the right there, you can see there's kind of padded grass. That's where he ran through. Now, I know we have hunting pressure here too. So he did go down. It's just a matter of trying to find him. With the recurve and the 700 grain arrows, he shouldn't go too far. But at the same time, these moose are tough. So I guess at this point, we're just going to kind of loop around wide and see if we can't find this massive bull laying down here somewhere. Oh my God, there he is piled up right there, guys. We found him. We ended up running right into him. We looped wide to the left and we found him. We found him. He's an absolute giant and we took him down with the recurve. Oh, he didn't quite make diamond. So close, 284.9. Still an absolute giant bull. And we almost made a perfect heart shot. What a beautiful shot though. Tucked it right behind the front shoulder and just missed the front of the heart. But got a right lung at 32 yards. And that's our biggest bull moves down ever with the recurve. 284.9. Just missed being a diamond. But you know what? I'm still so happy with that. Well guys, after a very, very successful hunt today. It was long. It was tough. But it was well worth it. We got some pretty awesome animals. And I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. 
But first I want to show you this. This is our huge diamond wild boar that we got during the live stream a couple days ago. He scored 144.7. He looks awesome right there. And this is the first time we'll have a diamond wild boar in our trophy lodges since. I guess like before the trophy lodges even came out. Or maybe maybe the very first trophy lodge did come out. But then uh, when my game crashed I lost everything. So anyways we got him there. And this is our 260 huge white tail buck that we got. Uh, with the m1 and especially at this point now white tail are so difficult to find it's just so difficult but like i said you gotta hunt kind of in the same area but go there at different times we got this guy at 15 30 at night now the drink zone ended at 1500 so he was actually feeding near a drink zone and that's where we got him he scores 260.3 so an absolute monster white tail considering the circumstances we've been under but this here is the famous moose i've never in my life done this especially in call of the wild uh let alone even real life i mean can you imagine i don't even think i would even, even think about taking a shot like that but it's very possible you know it's super super unlikely it's gonna happen but it's possible and today we found out that it is possible and we did it. We made a 100 yard perfect Texas heart shot on this huge bull moose with a bow. And that's him there. He scored 246.5 and we definitely had to get him mounted. One, because he's huge and two, because it was an incredible shot and I'll probably never do it again. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.